guys and welcome to the latest episode of Mr. Ashodi's Snapshot Science. Now in today's lesson we're going to be looking at excretory products. Now hopefully by the end of this video you're able to one, state the difference between ingestion and excretion. We then want to go on to look at the process of excretion and finally we want to look at how urea is produced. So let's get right into it. Now all living organisms go through metabolic reactions. A good example is respiration, which you've just looked at as part of your specification. Now, in these metabolic reactions, there are waste products produced that the body cannot use. So, for example, from respiration, carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide from respiration has to be excreted. And it's that key word that we're going to look at. It has to be excreted uh, by our, the lungs, gills, or other exchange surfaces of the animal. Now, if it is allowed to remain in the body, it could become toxic, okay? So, it's, and it's very toxic to the cells. So, it's important that we get rid of it, okay? Now, these waste products are called excretory products. And the removal of these excretory products is known as excretion. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Now, let's try, let's uh, debunk a few myths and really understand what ingestion is. Because ingestion and excretion are not the same process. Now, for example, all animals, we all eat uh, foods that cannot be digested. Another good example of that would be uh, cellulose, okay? Now, this cellulose in our food, okay, it passes straight through the alimentary canal, okay? It is not used up in any reactions, okay? It's not even, uh, it doesn't even enter any of our cells, okay? It's not an excretory product, okay, because it is not involved in any reactions. Therefore, this undigested food, passes straight out the uh, anus in the form of feces, okay, unchanged. And this is called egestion, and this is the key difference between excretion and egestion. So let's look at what excretion is. Now, we all produce nitrogenous waste. Now this waste is formed by any excess proteins or any excess amino acids that we have. You know, after you've eaten your whole KFC bucket of chicken. Okay, now we're not able to store this excess amino acids in our body and therefore we excrete the nitrogen containing product, okay, uh, from in the, in the form of urine, okay, which we're going to look at. We're going to look at, it's a whole process, okay. In mammals, this product is mainly urea, okay. Now, urea is formed in the liver, okay, and it is toxic, okay, so it is an excretory product. We must get rid of it via excretion. Okay, it is removed by the kidneys, okay, in the urine, okay, and, and it's really important we get used to it. Now, think about it, when you take in proteins, the enzymes which you really looked at in your digestive system, okay, break down these proteins into amino acids, all right? Now, these amino acids are absorbed into the blood capillaries in the ileum. Now, the blood capillaries all join up to the hepatic portal vein, okay, which takes the absorbed food molecules to the liver. Now, at the, at, in the liver, okay, the liver will allow some of the amino acids to carry on to the rest of the body where they can be used, okay, to build muscle, etc. Okay, however, any excess amino acids must be gotten rid of, all right? Now, it will be very wasteful of the body to simply just get rid of the amino acids in the form of amino acids because that, the amino acids actually contain energy. They can actually be useful. So what is done, what the liver does, is very clever, the liver splits the amino acid molecule and it splits it into the first part which is a carbohydrate which contains the energy. So we can either use it now or later, okay, so we're really preserving that energy, okay. The rest, which is ammonia, and this ammonia contains the nitrogen, okay, is turned into urea, alright, and this process is known as deamination. Okay, the deamination. You can see the amino acids there. Okay, the breaking down of amino acids. All right. Now, the urea dissolves in the blood plasma and is taken to the kidneys to be excreted. All right. The a small amount um, is also excreted from your sweat, but most of your urea is excreted via the kidneys, which you'll look at in your next video. Here's a great diagram that is on page 155 of the Cambridge International Examinations textbook. I've got it on the board here, but in order for you guys to see it clearly, make your diagrams and make your notes, which I want you to do, you're going to need to use your textbook. So get your textbooks right out. So, 
protein in the food is taken into the alimentary canal, as we can see. This is a summary now. Okay, the protein molecules are broken down by enzymes in digestion. Okay, they're broken down into amino acids. All right. Now the amino acids are absorbed into the blood. Okay, and they're taken to the liver via the hepatic portal vein. Now amino acids that are needed are going to be released into circulation. Okay, you might need these amino acids. Remember for uh, pro, uh, muscle, pro, the building up of muscles, etc. All right. Now, the amino acids are, that are not needed, they are going to be deaminating, okay? They're going to go through the process of deamination, and they're going to be turned into the carbohydrate to use the energy that's in the, uh, to store the energy that's in the amino acid, okay? And they also are going to be turned into ammonia, okay? Now, the carbohydrates um, are stored in the liver, okay? And the ammonia is converted into urea. Okay, now the urea is, that's going to be excreted is taken to the kidneys, okay, because it's going to be excreted from the kidneys, okay, and the amino acids that is going to be used, okay, is taken away, and they're all taken away by the blood, okay. Now, so this liver has a really important job, okay, deaminating and breaking down um, any excess amino acids, okay. Now, the liver also has many other functions that it's important for you guys to know. So pause this video, have a read, and make notes of the other functions of the liver. Okay, so hopefully by the end of this video, you're able to state the difference between ingestion and excretion. Hopefully you're able to outline the process of excretion. And hopefully you're able to explain how urea is produced. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and revise. Mr. Ashodi, signing out. Hey!